Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Suikoden 4. This time we're actually going to start doing some stuff. And uh, I skipped going from Middleport back here to Razril because all we have to do now is talk to this fella. And then he's going to tell me to go back to Middleport. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Okay, so circle to open the map. The other, th the thing I was thinking about between videos is the big problem about this is this is supposed to kind of be the world map of this game. And this map is quite big. And there's just islands scattered around. You can kind of see them. Little shaded areas here you can kind of see all the all the places we can go but we have to go to each one of these places whilst uh, in this boat out in the open water getting into random battles the thing that I can compare it to is imagine if Wind Waker because a lot of people had a problem with the the sailing in Wind Waker imagine doing that but every five seconds you got into a random battle. Yep. That's kind of it. That's kind of this game. Anyway. Um, I'm going to head back to Middleport. And I'll skip to that point. Because I'll be damned if... Da I'll be damned if I'm showing off... All the sailing in this game. Bloody hell. All right, I made it back to Middleport in record time of five minutes. Not too bad. Not too bad. I've re <laughs> so the enemies are in the in the water, in between these two islands. I'm making no experience off them anymore. Uh, I think I'm level. Yeah, I'm level eight now. Everyone's level eight. Making no experience, but uh, we're gonna go and make ourselves slightly more powerful. If we go to the blacksmith, instead of finding weapons and equipping new weapons to your characters and stuff, the Suikoden games all have blacksmiths, and you go to them, talk to Adrienne here, and you can strengthen your weapon, and it, and it costs money, so you can see the fee there of 300, um, and you can get a significant uh, strength boost just by levelling them up. Uh, the daddy blade, oh come on Snow. You loser. So we're going to mess about with uh, these guys. We don't need to. We're about to fight a creature that is mildly more powerful than the things we have been fighting. And remember, the things that we have been fighting have only been doing one damage to us. Um, even when we started the game. Like, when we were level one, they were doing one damage to us. So, this monster coming up is... Uh, it's not difficult, it's just... Slightly, slightly more difficult than the things we've been fighting. It's almost a boss. It isn't a boss, but it, it's almost a boss. Okay, so let's do that. We'll level up Snows by one, just to make him feel happy. But he's, he's just a waste of space. Waste of space. Brilliant. Thanks, Adrian. Now we can go and do the mish. Do the mission that that fella hasn't given us yet. Let's go talk to him. I thought I've already talked to him. But that didn't happen. That happened in my head. Right, let's go. Look at this dog. Aru. Right. So. This is some riveting gameplay so far, isn't it? Don't worry, it does... It does get slightly more interesting later on. So we have to find a black furry thing. It's kind of cute looking, apparently. So we've got to stop this thing that's uh, ruining fishermen's boats and all this stuff. Uh, brilliant. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this at half past four in the morning. 
because there were so many interruptions in the last video and so many weird noises like passing aeroplanes and stuff that I just got sick of it. But I think the chickens are about to wake up in a minute so you're gonna get weird chicken noises. Nothing I can do about it. Right so to find this black furry thing uh, we've got to go out into the open water and just kind of float about for a bit until we find it. I usually find it by going uh, west a little bit but staying within the confines of this island so if we float around here we should be able to find it is that it? it bloody isn't bloody lizards absolutely sick of it yeah wiggle wiggle your ass at me you son of a bitch look at the d damage we're doing so we were doing like 17, 15 damage, and now we're doing in the 40s. So, blacksmiths. They're bloody OP in this game. Now, give me that black thing. No, that's the that's the enemy seaweed that, for some reason, is attacking us. But we're killing them in one hit, so that's always good. Look at that, 42. 37. And uh, the more you level up your weapon, it'll it'll change names, and you'll get super cool weapons. There's no like finding weapons in in uh, dungeons and equipping them to your characters. Everyone has the the same weapon throughout the game. You just level it up with money. Which I've always kind of liked. I've always liked the blacksmithing in Suikoden games. It's pretty cool. Right. It shouldn't take this long to find it. Come on. There it is. The vampire furball thing. Right. Oh, the damp hairball. That's what it's called. That's our first semi mini kind of boss that's definitely not a boss because we're going to kill it in like a few turns and it's not going to do much damage to us it's got slightly higher defense but it's fine also a weird thing that i that happened um so much 67 Apparently you can level up your combo attacks. I don't know, that's not a thing in other Suikoden games. I may have misread it, but I think that's what it said. Let's go. These two have leveled up their friendship attack or whatever. What's it doing? Ow! Ow! Stop. You're not supposed to do that. Is everyone... Everyone is of acceptable health. Just berserk blow. Blow the thing. Um, no, you, don't. Oh, you might have to heal yourself. Jewel. Silly girl. Did that heal? I didn't see a number. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. And we've got a question mark pot. We, those things actually come in quite handy later on. We might have to hold on to all of our question mark things. Right, so now, of course, it gives me the bloody black furry thing while my back's turned to the island. So now I have to do a 180. Simple. So let's talk to these guys. It's actually going to be kind of easy to let's play this game because if most of the game is spent in a boat and I'm cutting out most of my travelling by boat it's probably going to be like seven episodes long so brilliant. Uh, what did he ask me? I wasn't reading. Oh, he asked me if I wanted to go back on my boat. I didn't. I wanted to get my money. Probably have to talk to the man. Uh, right, bear with me. Luckily, if you don't move the boat, you can you can kind of turn like that and uh, not get into any, not get into any battles. So that's always good. It's 
It's not all bad. Right, let's talk to the man instead. 2,000 pots, he's loaded! And we've got 8,900. Um, I might as well go rest at the inn. Why not? But by this point in most Suikoden games, you've probably reached at least your first dungeon. And all I've been doing is kind of aimlessly going about. I am kind of looking forward to this game starting up, though, properly. Because even though I don't enjoy it very much, it's still Suikoden. So I'm gonna, you know, love it. Probably. Hopefully. Let's save it. Because I, I even like um, the DS Suikoden game that came out. And that one's not amazing, is it? So maybe I just didn't give this game a chance. This is it. This this Let's Play right here is me giving it a chance. I'm going to finish the game. And then maybe I'll change my tune. But me and my friend, good old Mamushi LT, um, we're always talking about how bad this game is. This is the only Suikoden game he's ever played. <laughs> I've been trying to get him to play the other ones. Um, I don't know why I run around in circles when I'm talking. Right, let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to play all the other ones, the actual good ones. One and two especially. Just just play those, but, you know, it's always funny just to talk about this. But he does like to annoy me by saying that this is the best one out of all of them. I even like Suikoden in Tactics, and that wasn't <laughs> very good, was it? I can't remember. I might have to let's play that one because I don't remember that game at all. I finished it, but I think I went on autopilot with that one. Um, but it was a tactic. It was just a tactics game, you know. Pretty good. Anyway, I'm heading back to uh, Razrail, so time to cut out more boat floating action. Oh, thank Christ, I'm actually happy to see a cutscene. I've been recording for 25 minutes now, and I swear to God, like 15 minutes of that is stuff I have to cut out. But uh, let's see. I have to actually read this stuff. Ooh, the pirate Bran Brando. Be sure to remain vigilant. Please visit the commander later. So we got to go see the commander now? Well, all right then. I think we'll be able to uh, recruit the Catman very, very soon. I don't remember much about this game, but I remember getting the Catman very, very, very early on. Um, is there anything we can do here? Actually, I should go and I should go and show you uh, the rune shop, which is here, because runes are how you get magic. Basically, you find orbs. Um, so here, the fire orb and the water orb. Sorry, I was dying there. Uh, I think we've already found a water orb, but I'm going to buy this fire one because fire is uh, the best. And we can immediately give this to big old Stumpo right here. And now he, he can use fire magic. So if you look, uh, I should point this out as well. If you look uh, under people's names, you've got their health, and then you've got that weird star symbol, and then a two, and then three zeros. Those are basically how many... <coughs> that's how many... Um, uh, spells you can use, basically. Um, like a D&D &D system, like a 
Final Fantasy 1 type deal going on where you have levels of magic spells um, and all that good shit it will make more sense when I get up <coughs> get up a level and get more um, get more numbers added onto there because right now we can only use two we can only use one s spell twice basically so Kenneth can only do his berserking blow twice And we get more by going up levels, obviously. See ya, Kenneth. See ya, Jewel. Let's go see the commander. See what's up. So that's pretty much the end of the 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 weird random errand beginning of this game. I don't remember what this separate mission is, though. Mr. Ramada? Oh, heck. Oh, O'Rark Maritime Trade. Brilliant. The Scrubs, yep. Oh, he's got his serious face on. We've been to two islands, right? Well, one island, because we started on the first one. Pirate attacks, we'll be fine. We've got level three weapons. So, it looks like we've got to stop some uh, pirates. Guide us to Illuvia. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they tell us where it is, because I don't want to aimlessly float about. It's probably still the north. Leave your son alone. It's great to be the main character who isn't the captain at anything. Just some kid. But can we take the Catman? That's the real question. Can't believe Snow's not asking that. We met this Catman and he's pretty cool. He wears a cardigan. Sure thing. <laughs> 